an incredible pleasure to highlight this episode, IET Analytics. Castelline is doing such an incredible job bringing a new generation of data science and analytic professionals to Haiti. Those fo folks who may not know, in the background, when I'm not blazing a path in entrepreneurship and media, I've consulted, I've worked as a data scientist, analytics in the background. So trust me, I am speaking from a point of view as someone who knows the incredible work and incredible effort it takes to do what she's doing. And guess what? The folks who get in and out of her boot camp, which we're gonna be talking about in just a moment, oh my God, they are landing well-paid and meaningful work at a very high success rate. Listen, everyone who's made out of her boot camp has found meaningful work and employment. That speaks volumes. We're gonna spend this episode diving in and learning about IT analytics. Let's start off with Castellin. Hello, my name is Castellin Tillis. I'm one of the co-founders of IT analytics and I serve as our director of education and social impact. Um, I have a background in international policy and development. I stumbled into tech relatively recently in 2017. I started working in data science in the States and I began thinking about how to apply data science and how to apply technology to advanced development in Haiti. This was an idea that I had just a few years back and I was looking for other partners to um, execute on this mission. And it was then that I met my, my now co-founders, Yvel Maslin and Morgan Mendes, and we spent the better part of, of a few years thinking about and refining our, our mission to create a tech company in Haiti that would apply data science and technology more broadly to transform the way things are currently done. And so we founded the company in 2020, January of 2020, and we've been running ever since. Um, and so one of the flagship programs that we've implemented is the Data Science Bootcamp, but our range of offerings have gone beyond the bootcamp program to do a whole lot more. And so we currently work across three core pillars, so data science education, through which we offer the bootcamp program, we do data science consulting, and research. And in each pillar, we've been able to collaborate with a number of different actors in Haiti. Um, in terms of our, our vision for the future, it's to train and directly employ students to apply data science in Haiti. So our vision is we'll train students through our bootcamp program and other parallel education programs. We'll directly hire them to do direct consultations and to apply data science to address some of the most chronic problems that we see in Haiti. And so we want to partner with people across various industries, from the healthcare sector to agriculture to the environment. Our goal is to be able to work on collaborative projects across industries, directly hiring the trainees from our programs to really take and what they've learned and to apply it to issues and problems that they see within their community. And so we want to build a tech company with a social mission in mind, and that is to really transform Haiti through technology and to address some of the problems that people deem impossible. Um, we're a, a relatively young team, uh, we're ambitious, we're driven, and we really believe that we can achieve anything. And I have been fortunate to work alongside some of the brightest minds in the country in executing on this mission. My name is Diver Marcelin and I am a founder member of the team of IT Analytics. I have more than seven years experiences to teach and to apply data science and data analytics and enterprise. I have a good experiences by teaching students. This for me a best possibility teaching students can apply data science and to see the development of IT quicker. It's for me a best opportunity and I like that. Wow. Quite a mouthful from leaders and founders of IT Analytics. But let's learn about what the program has meant from the folks who finished the program and now working as professionals in the world of business in Haiti. Hello, my name is Marcel Jetro. I'm a software developer. I joined Haiti, I joined Haiti Analytics in October 2020 and I'm actually working as a software developer uh, at the company. Um, we had many projects, like the first project that I work on was the Zapta project, which is a monitoring project of all the station, of all the TapTap -tap station in Haiti, um, the geocalization and the route that, that can land from one station to another station. So if someone is in Paraguay, for example, he wants to go somewhere, we could tell him exactly which 
station to take to go from one place to another place. And we also have another project that we made which is um, repertorying all the um, Société Civile in Haiti so that, um, for example, let's say if you want to go to um, an organization that is responsible of women, of women health, women condition, you will not know which organization has this word in Haiti and where they are. So we offer a map where you can just type the type of organization that you need and you're gonna see a lot of pinpoint of those organizations in Haiti. And we also have another application that we're building, which is a modem app. That app will allow organization to employ driver, um, taxi driver, to make the deliveries for the, for the companies. And we also have many other projects that we're working on, and we, we want you to continue to follow Haze Analytics. We have our website, which is hazeanalytics.org that you can visit and you're gonna see all the information about Hate Analytics, what we did, what we are doing, and what is our vision for Hate. Hello, I am Mike Ribozol. I am one of the alumni of the first bootcamp of IT Analytics. I know about it um, because I follow a training with IT Goes Global who sent me an email about it. I have always been interested by Data World is the reason why I applied for this bootcamp. And actually, I work at Digicel in the same department as analyst. My name is Max Aver Jacob, and I was one of the alumni of the first bootcamp of IT Analytics. The courses they were they were proposing about data science were very instructive, and I chose to participate with them. The experience was very great, and I learned. A lot. Thanks to IT Analytics, I joined DSL as an intern working for HR. Now I'm in I'm working in the, in the department of business solution where I'm currently helping the clients who who have a special connection with us. And that was a few words from the professionals. But what about the students? What about the current enrollees, the current boot camp attendees, right? Let's hear a few words. My name is Goti Gina Pastor, and I am an actual student of AD Analytics. I'm Fred Junior Noel. I am a statistician economist. I am Sigin Mateucci. I am actually a participant at the boot camp. And the boot camp IT analytics, we have learned um, many, uh, we have learned the, the best tools in the world like Python, SQL, Power BI. Till now, I'm satisfied. The, the experience was good. We not only learn, but we, we become familiar to specialists in this field. And it was a great experience. The teachers were very motivated uh, to teach us during the, the, the training and it became impossible not to understand um, what is being done. Castellin and the whole team of IT Analytics, the professionals who've gone through the program, the students, oh my goodness, it is so meaningful, so heartfelt to see that there's incredible work happening, there's incredible impact happening. And the thing is, what's so mind-blowing is I've, st I've seen Castellin, you know, starting with this as an idea and now she's on the second round and now moving on to the third round of boot camps of, of doing research of doing impact of providing employment and bringing a higher level meaningful employment ecosystem to haiti right visit itanalytics.com check out the incredible work they're doing if you're a corporate leader company leader in Haiti and you want to tap into the incredible talent that Castellina is working on, give her, give her, just send a message, don't be shy. <laughs> Learn how you can support. And even you watching can be a part of the incredible movement by simply sharing this video, sharing it, share it across your network, share it to your friends, share it to your coworkers, hit that like button, comment. This is what we do here at CGMT. We're about showing the other side, the Haitian cultural perspective, keeping it centered around business and economic progression. 
Guys, I want you to smash that subscribe, smash that follow. Guys, oh, 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 oh. Don't forget to comment, let me know. Did you, did you think something like this was even a thing here in Haiti? Let me know. Is it something that you can see yourself participating in? <laughs> Guys, this is what we do. I appreciate you watching, and, and we'll be back at it again when we're back at it again. Peace.